Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is a, um, a channel that's going to be for reviews, mainly of sport events and also of series and, and films. If you want to subscribe, please do, and please leave me a comment on what you would like me to review and I'll give it a go. Today I would like to do a review on the English game. There's two ways of looking at this. Historically, it's totally inaccurate. There was a person called Fergus and he did play in Scotland and he did come down and he did end up playing for Blackburn. Now, there's two Blackburns, there's Blackburn Rovers and there's Blackburn Olympia. Blackburn Olympia no longer exists, that would have been the Blackburn he would have played for, not Blackburn Rovers. In the, in the series, you just call it Blackburn. So, that's a little bit sneaky, but it's okay, I can live with that. And then um, his mate comes down, Jimmy Love. They both came down to, um, to uh, Darwin and then he went off uh, to join the military and that's about all I know about him. As so a fact that he uh, has this relationship with this girl in, uh, and he gets married and all this, that's all uh, dramatisation. So I don't know how Jimmy Love's family now think about it, that he hasn't been portrayed as this hero who went off and joined the military. The way they portray it in the film is that he stays there. It's very much like Downton Abbey, uh, costumes and all that, and I do I do have a little bit of um, a liking. So um, from that point of view, I thought everything was good. Um, they're wearing the, the nice hats, uh, the men and the gentlemen wearing the bowler hats, which is kind of cool to see. Most key thing, they have the result of the final match as wrong. Blackburn never won the FA Cup because they don't exist. And Eton never lost the FA Cup to a uh, working class man's team as they called, or a Miller's team or a Mill team or whatever. They never lost to them. So Netflix, you need to get your facts right. You can't just make up history. I mean, obviously like the man in High Castle, that's an alternate universe, so Hitler can win the war. But when you're portraying a real historical fact and you're trying to pass it off as wrong that's not good because all the people who won the FA Cup all their families will be like well wait um, I'm sure my great granddad won the FA Cup that year oh no wait a minute oh did he oh and then you start to question your family uh, heritage and like you used to be proud of them and you'd be like yeah they won the FA Cup in 1860 something and then next thing you know no Netflix say it's wrong so you know you could have had like a really good ending like a Braveheart. You don't mind them losing. It's like another really, 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 really good film. Cool run-ins. They're like in gold medal and then the Bobsteps crashes and then you're like, I cried so much watching that film. It could have been the same. You could have had Jimmy collapse, or actually Jimmy's injured, but you could have had Fergus. You could have had Fergus like on the floor crying and the Arthur could have come and hugged him and said better luck next year. But in fact what happens is it's the other way around, which is not true. So I'm sorry, Netflix, I can only really, really give you, I want to say two, but I think I'm going to give you a three out of five. Just historically, you're off. You can't sell a football drama and then have the facts wrong. You might as well do Italia 90 and do England winning it, or Euro 96 and England winning it. You might as well. Just, just give us lies. Just lie to us. If you like this video, you can subscribe and send me some comments and I'll review some more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one.